Sí. The machine gunner has no idea that it's defending. Well, okay, it's defending something, but. He could be useful of take, be taking it down. that they stayed in like that. Seen that before. When I get here, so I can take all of these guys out. Coming. I forgot there was a sniper right there. Fuck. Yeah, how do I do what yeah. Well yeah yeah you can climb over here somehow. Or you can just reach out. I saw it, it just didn't fucking approaching. Like I don't know what happened. First time I played this map, I actually took this route. Should try that again. Seeing how I ain't going for the punches. The one hole in the fence. Come on. Fuck it. The one fucking hole in the fence. And I happen to be laying right there. See you in hell. I'm being stupid right now. Borderline fucking. It will rain. Whatever the hell that achievement is. It means... I don't have the faintest of clues. Well, let's obviously kill a fuckload of them. He's none the wiser. It will rain. Kill ten enemy soldiers at once. Okay. Sure. Wait, the, the alarm goes on the Russian side? Right, let's do this with the more time. That dog should not be a danger. Hmm. 
Überzeugung waren, dass das Volk diesen Glauben benötigt und braucht. Und wir haben daher den Kampf gegen die gottlosen Bewegung nicht mit den wahren theoretischen Erklärungen aufgenommen. Wir haben sie beseitigt. No idea who's talking, but it ain't the mustache man. Let's see. Right away. Got it. Don't forget the little bubble over here. He counts as a soldier. Uh, so how do we deal with these two? We need to try to cross somehow. That guy is gonna have to be taken care of. Oh yeah, and that's those two. Turn around, come on. Quick, please. My sniper rifle can handle it. Then a holy shit, an air blast! Well, you air blast in fucking battlefield mode is fucking hilarious. Like fucking. Uh, I don't know. I don't know actually if air, if air blast or. I guess air blast hits a larger area but less damage. No idea what the fuck is is going on. Okay, 
They will go down. Guns blazing. Taking heavy fire. Eh. What are you still down there for? Move. Come on. Oh yeah, some of you might. They'll go down. To Papa. This good crowd didn't manage to withdraw with all their stuff. Now, how loud are you? Let's uh, see. This is the first time I can say. Alrighty, adjusting fire. Off she goes! Damn! Miss. Ha! Amateur! Ten meters closer. Oh, there we go. Ha! Daddy will be proud. Shit. They're not wasting time. We still need to blow up the bunker. Rubble, you have the bomb. Fuck them up. On it, Cap. Daddy will be proud. And I guess that has to do with the mortar. This guy has no fucking idea. But yeah, usually I do it with the, with the Panzer Shrek because, well, it's closer. And it's actually quite fucking hilarious. Now steady. Oh, fuck! Ha! <laughs> Squint eyed grenadier! Oh, shit, shit! Boom! Bullseye! Okay, let's see how I did this. Yep, that's all. 
that work? A Russian, though, is deciding. No, oh, there was him. And they're like, ah, whatever. Fuck it. Shot fired, who cares? Is clear. Rally behind the bunker. Hmm. What a weekend. Oh. Hmm. All right. Everyone in one piece. Seems like we are. The road leads straight to the Vistula River. We'll have to find a way to get through to it. Halt! Stutch! Kurwa! Where the hell did they come from? Hey, you're Polish, not German. Hey, you're Polish, not Russian. What the hell are you doing in these uniforms, people? We're the first Polish army, under General Burling's command. Polish army, my ass. You're fighting alongside Soviet scum. Fuck off. Our options were to come back to our homeland and fight Germans, or to die in Siberia. So, are we gonna shoot each other now, or what? As I said, a very... <coughs> Send me easy mission. Never s have I, haven't I picked this one? But I can read this later. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I see you all next time. Farewell. In London, it took weeks before we were finally allowed to meet the Secretary of Foreign Affairs. Although we all wanted to talk, the British only invited Joachim to the meeting. When Joachim returned. He was white as a ghost. He told us that they knew about everything, but could do nothing. They told him that the only solution was to win the entire war and bring the Nazis to justice in its aftermath. I was beyond devastated. Everything we did was for nothing. But Greta wasn't moved. Her thoughts were elsewhere, in Warsaw. The Warsaw Uprising was the largest home army operation in the history of occupied Poland. The inhabitants of Warsaw stood against the German oppressors. Every citizen of Warsaw wanted to help, so even the women and children fought. What they lacked in experience they made up for with courage and hope. Besides, just like in the Paris Uprising, the Poles had hoped that the Allies would come to help them. And they believed that the approaching Red Army would join the fight as well. But the slaughter of countless Poles was in the Soviets' favor. Thanks to this, their own invasion and occupation would be less problematic. Fortunately, within the Red Army, there were those for whom the fate of the Polish insurgents could not be ignored. The Burling's army was an armed force created mainly from Polish prisoners who were previously deported to Siberia. For these people, fighting alongside the Soviets was their only hope of seeing their homeland again. Burling's soldiers managed to convince their superiors to let them join the uprising. For Stalin, they were nothing more than cannon fodder anyway. Under the cover of night, led with the rest of the group, and together with the soldiers from Burling's army, crossed the Vistula River and reached the western side of Warsaw. There, they joined the fight. A battle which, despite their hopes, had no chance of victory. What a mess. Looks like the whole city became a ruin. I don't even recognize these places even though I was born and raised nearby. We have to keep moving. 
If we don't want to become one of the dead heroes here, we have to find some insurgents and join them. Agreed. At the end of the street lies a squ- <laughs> Shit! Take cover! Fucking Kraut marksmen are hidden in the buildings. They've got Goryevsky. We gotta smoke them out and avenge him! Hold your horses. Now I've got the highest rank here, we do it my way. You're not my commander. You're a Polish soldier, right? So shut up and listen to him, or I'll make you. Thanks, Evold. Listen, we've been here before many times, and we will resolve it our way. You wait here for us until the street is passable. Can't we just move around or go somewhere else? We're here to kill some Germans, right? Yeah, and we're also here to help these people. Exactly. We have to clear out these buildings ahead. Affirmative. Got it.